Hey everyone, it's Craig here. We're at the French Open, as you would expect, at Roland Garros. Now, we've all heard of Hawkeye in tennis, the electronic challenge system that a player will use if he thinks a ball is not correctly called during a match. Well, I'm going to show you the real Hawkeye here at Roland Garros. So I said we're going to show you the real Hawkeye. Now with me is Ludwig. Ludwig is in charge of all these birds. There are eight birds over here. Uh, and Ludwig, is this the whole collection of birds that you have or do you have more? Uh, we have more uh, birds, uh, but we, we can't take them all uh, with us. We have about 100 birds of prey, uh, all sorts, uh, eagles, uh, hawks, uh, buzzards and uh, falcons. Uh, yeah, so this is the whole idea, to have the birds over here I mean, Paris has got a big problem with pigeons anyway, um, but to keep the pigeons away from Roland Garros, this is what they also do at Wimbledon. On the centre court at Wimbledon, they keep, they have these uh, kestrels, and yes. they keep the, uh, the birds like the pigeons and all that sort of away from the centre court at Wimbledon as well. Yes, okay. Uh, I understand that, that, that in Wimbledon they, they have uh, a certain system uh, to get rid of the, the pigeons. What we made in place here is um, we arrived uh, approximately eight days before the, the international, mm -hmm. uh, the internationals were eight days, and we, we saw, we uh, constatated that there were approximately uh, 40 pigeons living here who were born here and um, the problem was that they were very uh, uh, used to the conditions used, used to the, 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 the conditions uh, here they, they were um, they weren't afraid of the, the, of, of the right. traffic they weren't afraid of the people who were here and uh, the first thing that we did is uh, we liberated the, the, the whole site of these 40 uh, pigeons. Uh, we, how did we do that? First, we let fly uh, the Harris Hawks. They um, sorted everything yeah. uh, out, out, out of the, the, the nidification, and the, the pigeon uh, placed him on, on the height on top of the buildings and uh, the antennas and, and uh, very high. And didn't uh, was too afraid to come down because he thought that the buzzard was still there. <laughs> uh, when we saw that that the pigeon uh, was too afraid to, to come down, we let fl uh, we let fly the the, the falcons, mm -hmm. and the falcons pushed further away okay. uh, yeah. the pigeons. Until, uh, okay. this, this this guy here. What, what type of bird is this? This one makes a lot of noise. This, this See, it's, a, it's a female, yeah. that's why. As usual. <laughs> As usual. Eh? Well, Talk like, non-stop. Like my mother-in-law. Uh, she <laughs> never agrees. Like, like, <laughs> like, I get that on camera. Like, like, <laughs> like your mother-in-law. Mother, yeah, okay. like my mother. She's, 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 she's agree with nothing. Uh, no, it's a female Alice Hope. Uh, she's uh, enormous. She weighs uh, one kilo uh, 200. And uh, she's... Uh, she's Impressing very much. Yeah. We, we used her also uh, to get ra could get rid of uh, crows, uh, seagulls. Yeah. Uh, she's really, really immense, uh, very big. Um, she's still and talking. She's, uh, she's, 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 she's six years old now. And that's Thank very you. interesting. I get rid of most of the pigeons. Maybe you should let them loose around Paris, and we can get rid of more pigeons. Yeah, I have I have a work for the generations. <laughs> On that no, note. no, no. Uh, the problem is here now. Uh, we, we get rid of all the of all the pigeons uh, who are staying here, living here. But uh, we have uh, seen uh, that there, is, there are about 1,000 pigeons passing the site during the morning and to go eating at Paris, I think. Uh, and in the evening, they all come back. They overfly the right. site again to go to the Bois Bologna. Uh, to stay here for, for, for staying the night. I so, just wonder what they're going to the Bois de Boulogne for. Yes, I, I think I want to know also, that one. Uh, I heard also uh, things... Uh, Let's not, not go not, there on not, that. We don't go in detail. <laughs> Ludwig, thank you, very, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.